Are you seeing your liver enzymes go up, up, up? Maybe you recently started a new medication and you're looking at medications that can cause high liver enzymes. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to look at that specific question, the most commonly used medications that cause high liver enzymes. We'll look at the ones that are most commonly associated with elevations in liver enzymes and some other things to think about with this topic on medication-induced elevation in liver enzymes. So again, as I said, my name is Dr. Taranella, and if you're new to this channel, I just want you to know that I make these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health, whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom, or diagnosis. I make these videos to help you get a better understanding of what's going on with your health. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, lab testing, hormones, and just overall optimizing your health, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaim, the information contained in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as treatment for any medical condition or a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical professional. It should be used as an educational guide to deepen your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's look at medications that cause high liver enzymes. So in this video, we're going to talk about medications that cause high liver enzymes. There are many medications that come with the potential side effect or warning of elevated liver enzymes. However, in my experience, most medications do not cause elevated liver enzymes. Of course, the dose of the medication and the combination of medications in your particular genetics do matter to a large extent. But even with that, there are specific medications that are going to be more likely to cause elevated liver enzymes than others. So in this video, we're going to look at some of those specific ones that are more likely to do this. So the first medication that's actually fairly common that's likely to cause elevated liver enzymes is statins. Statins are medications prescribed to lower cholesterol levels, and they usually are very well tolerated. In some cases, I have seen elevated liver enzymes that seem to be directly related to the statin medication. Now, these were usually much higher doses of atorvastatin than what's generally used. So up in the 40 to 80 milligram range. So they're on pretty high dose of statin medications where this was occurring. That being said, I also have plenty of patients that are on statin medications that never see it. a single change in the liver enzyme numbers when they start statin medications. So it really does depend on the dose and the individual variation there. The next medication that can cause high liver enzymes is acetaminophen. Acetaminophen is the more chemical name or generic name for Tylenol, and is pretty widely used for pain and temperature regulation or reduction in fevers and things like that. Now, acetaminophen in small doses is very, very safe. But as you get into the higher gram doses, like two grams, three grams, which is about the upper limit of what you should be taking, that's when you're going to more likely see elevated liver enzymes. Use that in combination with alcohol and the chances go up that you're going to have elevated liver enzymes. One of the ways that acetaminophen causes high liver enzymes when it does is it depletes your glutathione levels and glutathione is needed as part of the detoxification system in our bodies. So if you don't have as much of that, you have less overall capacity to get that acetaminophen out of your body. Anti-seizure medications or anti-epileptic medications are also commonly used for bipolar disorder. There's some overlap there and for some of these, but not all of these, but the seizure medications in particular, like valprogacid, carbamazepine, and phenytoin are all highly associated with elevated liver enzymes. So people that are taking those should have their liver enzymes monitored very closely, especially when they're starting out and when the doses are going up. Some of the newer ones are less likely to do this, like Keppra, Lamictal, or Lamotrigine, and Topamax or Topiramate. Those are generally well tolerated and less likely to cause elevated liver enzymes. Again, lots of medications out there that can do this, but these are some of the ones that are more commonly associated with it. Methotrexate is another one. Methotrexate is commonly used for various conditions of rheumatic nature, or autoimmune nature, so psoriatic arthritis, uh, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis. Those are all conditions that would typically be deploying methotrexate. Sometimes other medications are used, so it depends on the severity of the disease and what the doctor chooses to put you on. But 
Methotrexate can occasionally cause elevations in liver enzymes as well. And then the last category that I was going to cover is antibiotics. So certain antibiotics such as um, Augmentin, which has amoxicillin plus clavulinic acid, erythromycin, and tetracycline can cause elevations in liver enzymes in some individuals. These medications are typically used in limited time spans, so it is pretty rare that this is going to happen and even show up unless you're on it long-term, which sometimes people are on these long-term. In order for this to happen, you have to be taking it for long enough and at the dosage that's used for infections. So I think in looking at this question, overall medications that can cause high liver enzymes, we have to really look at the individual case and understand what's going on in terms of dietary influences and medication influences, perhaps alcohol, all those things layered in to get a better understanding of whether or not it is a medication or something else, lifestyle problem, for instance. More than likely in most people, it's going to be a combination of things, but the lifestyle factor, especially with like insulin resistance and fatty liver is very high up on my list when someone does show up with elevated liver enzymes course, we did talk about that in other videos. So you can check that out as well as the influence of exercise, a hidden factor that can cause elevated liver enzymes too. It's not all exercise specific exercise. So make sure you look at the exercise video and elevated liver enzymes as well, if you're interested in that, but it's important to look at the overall picture. And that's why it's also important when you're starting a new medication to check your liver enzymes pretty early on. And even if you have a starting point or a baseline and see if it goes up. If it doesn't, then you should be in pretty good shape. Although things do change and your body can all of a sudden be overburdened. Like with most things, there's multiple causes, multiple inputs to create the elevation. So if you start a new medication, but you also have high triglycerides, and then maybe you have a few extra drinks the weekend before the test, well, you might get a spike in your liver enzymes right when you do that test. You do it a month or two later, and it may not show that. So it's important to put the elevation in liver enzymes with that's assumed to be coming from the medication in a broader perspective. And sometimes it's good to get multiple data points on that. Now, of course, the higher the levels, the quicker you want to make those adjustments because you can cause some major issues with your liver if those enzyme levels do remain elevated. Of course, as I said, many medications do list elevation in liver enzymes as a possible side effect. Most people don't experience elevation in liver enzymes from most medications. If you do, you should look carefully at the timeline of when you started and what the levels look like before you started and discuss this with your doctor. Maybe there's other variables that are influencing your liver enzymes as well. So how did I do? Did that help you better understand the medications that can cause high liver enzymes? Hopefully it did. If you do have follow-up questions on this topic, drop it in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer your question. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.